an unbelievable experience. Eight years. Um, this has become my new home. Signing for Quinns, you know, with Connor was was huge. Um, I think my first my first time for the Quinns show was Middlesex Sevens, which as I think I was 15, 16, and then you know, DC was playing, Easter was playing, Rob Shaw, Ugo was meant to play, but somehow got ill that morning, which was convenient for him. Um, but yeah, no, putting on the shirt for the first time, especially with the, the players we had in that team, was you know was a dream come true. If you get offered something like that at that age to move down to London, you know, it was something that I was never going to look back on, and it was the best decision of my career I've made to date. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. You know the way we used to play. Obviously, came down here the first year we won the Premiership, which. You know, just to come down here to win something like that with such a close bunch of boys was unbelievable. My first Premiership start, which was against Leicester, which is obviously, yeah, you probably couldn't write it, and actually my last game for Quinns was against Leicester. So, yeah, that was huge, huge rugby family, who you know, my old man played for Leicester, and that's something when I got to play out there, especially away, that was a huge experience. And then other games you look for, you know, all the big games that I, you know I've been lucky enough, or you know, I've only played in two, but I consider that lucky that you know, they're games that some players, especially in the Prem, don't get the opportunity to play. And 80,000 people at Christmas in front of your friends and family, that's huge. And then, you know, not so much this year, but in the, in the past, you know, the away trips we've had to France. Um, you know, when we went out to Claremont and, you know, we put them under the pump what was it, five years ago, beat Racing back to back and uh, got Heineken Cup man of the match in that, which, you know, I can hold on to that forever. And, you know, that'll be sitting at the front of my mantelpiece wherever I go. Um, yeah, Castaway, just. All, all the big games kind of where, as I said, we we weren't expected to win, but we went out there and you know, there was probably 30 of us as a, a playing staff and coaching staff, and then, well, what, 50, 100 fans you know, against you know, going into a big cauldron, and that was something that I'll always treasure. Favourite Premiership try? Uh, yeah, there has been a few, probably the ones that come to mind are probably last year because they, they got played the most. Um, Worcester was just one of them that it just kind of opened up again. Like we got the ball in quick, Quinn style of old, throw the throw the ball in and get it get it in and move teams around. And when it opens up like that, that suits me. And then there was also the Gloucester one. Didn't make a mistake. Marcus Smith does it incredibly well. Finds a little bit of space and finds the unwatching Charlie Walker. Danny Kerr is on his right hand side. Danny Kerr to Marlon Young. Marlon Young beautifully tackled. We just put a huge team try on, so we ran it from a 22, couple of offloads, you know, get quick ball. I think it was yeah, Yardy took the ball in. I think um, someone went, Danny went over, Brownie got the ball moving, and then there was just a hole. And if you see a hole, run into it. You know, rugby's an easy game when you look at it like that.